Alright, this is a beaver moon, full moon, super moon for Taurus. This is the November 15th moon at 4.25 p.m. in Taurus. And Taurus is usually talk about remembrance, grounding, preparation, security. Also family and like a um, guarded nature about them. Also, sometimes building and wealth, and some other things. Tauruses are mostly very grounded in their own family, though. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. The Two of Swords in reverse means that there's no decisions being made. Um, there's the Six of Cups in reverse, so there's uh, no, not anything new coming in, really. So we have the Page of Pentacles with sensuousness and a realistic expectation. We have the Hermit in reverse, so there's no solitude. I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, then you have the Nine of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Wands is um, you're not overcoming obstacles. I think mostly you're just trying to exist with your obstacles. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse, so there's no illusion, there's no psychic bonds at the moment. It's just you dealing with the choices that you've made up until this point and trying to see what you need and what you don't need. This could be an uncluttering type of energy. You could be cleaning your house, you could be wiping down the floors, you could be using a little bit of bleach. Don't use too much, use like the distilled version. I had to power wash my house and I got some in my eyes. I hate bleach. I really do. But it, it helps a lot of things. Okay, we have the King of Wands in reverse. Um, so there's nothing being created. There's nothing um, really going on. I think you're just cleaning your house, to be honest. Um, the Tower in reverse, there's no upheaval. There's no shock. It's all kind of like you already knew about it. <laughs> uh, we have the Empress in reverse. So... You're not really connecting with mind body. There's nothing physically, you know, going on. But there could be like you're talking to people, you're trying to connect on a realistic basis with somebody. You're trying to find your tribe of real people that um kind of associate with your goals, mentality and how you feel about yourself, which is good. All right. We have the 5 of cups in reverse. So there's no grief here, there's no heartache here. I think you're reconciling differences with some people and that's a hard one for a lot of Tauruses to admit that they might have been a little bit too like harsh with certain people but I feel like you're coming into your own so you are forgiving people for being human and you're forgiving yourself for being human um, in order to gain a lot of stock in people if that makes sense. Alright we have the three of cups with friendships and celebrations so you're reconciling differences so your friends can be around you you have the devil the devil it talks about inner demons and being unfaithful um it could be unfaithful with how you truly feel or in a relationship it depends on how you feel about certain things and your value system but if you value your relationship you're probably thinking about other things Okay, that could be a sign of cheating as well because you're thinking about other things and you're not really letting something go. There could be unfinished business, that type of thing. And then we have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords it says that there's no restriction. I feel like you're going to be talking about topics with people that may have bothered them before, but you're clearing the air, you're squashing the beef. Um, and, and you want to celebrate people. You want to have friends um, be around you when you have a tough time or you have questions or you need a ally, which is good. Um, you're also going to be talking about stuff that probably is a little bit cringe, but at the same time you want to see how people feel about it. It might be kind of a, kind of a tell-all if you're like a podster or whatever i call them podsters it's when you have a podcast all right anyway let's get into the reading 
We have what can you nurture during the cycle. We have thriftiness and we have psychic protection. I feel like you have to meditate more. I feel like you don't meditate or pray enough, so you might want to do that. Um, how can you nurture it? Um, we have materialistic views. And we also have the biggest lesson to learn is how to balance everything. Okay, we have... What will help you stay the course? We have authority and feeling screwed over. So you might want to be an authority in your own life so that people treat you better or you have boundaries with people where if they cross them, there is going to be a um, reckoning. <laughs> Let's put it to you that way. Um, so how you can dedicate... Um, how your dedication will pay off. We have lack of importance and we have a reflection. So you're you're gonna pick your battles. It's it's a grown up thing to do. You're gonna pick your battles. If it's not gonna hurt you and it's not gonna put money in your pocket, I wouldn't touch that with a nine foot pole. But that's just me. Um, I would look at more of having the same morals as your friends, having the same values as your friends being in tune with who you are as a person and what your needs are going to be five months down the road. Are these going to be those friends that are going to come to your aid if you need them? That's the type of things that you're trying to build. And the people that don't hit that cue on on uh, your level are is going to be dismissed or being put on as associates. They're not going to be trusted with big things. I think it's a good idea. Um, also, I feel like you're building something with these friends that are loyal and dedicated to you and dedicated to friendship and want to build with you and stuff like that and want to bounce ideas off you. Um, the other ones, not so much. <laughs> you kind of want to stay away from those people at this moment in time because it's close to the holiday season and you're kind of more grounded in a family or grounded in your work where you kind of want those friends that want to get together have fun have have deep conversations things like that sounds like a good idea <laughs> i just want to watch the some movies and stuff i'm not really big on the holiday season i mean i cook for my family and that's about it but i feel like a lot of people like to host things I've never been like a host of anything I think the biggest thing I've hosted is like a convention and that was about it um conventions are sticky things it's like whatever works that's what we're going with but um yeah usually it comes together last minute or it's like a a day delay or something but um yeah, you you do have to kind of roll with the punches with a lot of things. And I feel like you're trying to do that as much as possible to work with people and be be available. You you want good friends just as much as anybody else does. So yeah, you kind of have to work with them instead of working against them and wanting everything done on your time. You have to work with their time too. It is what it is. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave you. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the beaver moon, as they call it. It's more of a building moon. So it's a more get up and go and try to establish something. Um, so enjoy that. I know a lot of people would be like trying to build up their wealth or build up their stuff for the holiday season or something to that effect. I usually don't work with this moon a lot. I I just don't. I, I just don't know how people feel about this moon. It's more of a um, house moon. So it, it works with homes and foundations and stuff. But um, it's a good moon to start with if you're going into trying to read cards. This would be more about home. And there's a lot of sirens here today too. Anyway, this is where I leave you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone. I will see you in the next reading.
try to build, try to do some home stuff. And I will see you in the next reading. All right, Taurus? Bye.